Black voters from across the country just gave liberals who hate President Donald Trump the last news they ever expected. You're going to love this. A survey of 1,000 likely voters conducted on June 3, 4, 2018, by Rasmussen Reports found that 28% of black voters say young black Americans are better off now than they were in the closing year of Barack Obama's presidency, 15%. Moreover, 54% of voters who say life for young black Americans is better now believe race relations are improving too. Voters feel young black Americans are better off under President Trump than they were under Barack Obama, the nation's first black president. The latest Rasmussen Report's national telephone and online survey shows that 32% of likely you. S voters believe life for young black Americans has gotten better since Trump's election, the publication reported. But in March 2014, just 16% said life for young black Americans had gotten better since Obama's election five and a half years earlier. By July 2016 in Obama's final year in office, only 13% thought life was better for young blacks. Even black voters are nearly twice as likely, 28%, to say young black Americans are better off now than they were in the closing year of Obama's presidency, 15%. It only makes sense that black Americans are starting to turn away from the Democratic Party. Black unemployment is at a historic low. Among all Americans, fewer than ever know someone who is looking for work or someone who has given up the search, while confidence in the job market remains near record highs. Bet founder Robert Johnson, America's first black billionaire, noted as much in an interview with CNBC. If you take into account the Trump tax cut, you take into account the drop in unemployment, and particularly unemployment for African Americans, it's the lowest it's ever been in history, and you take into account the fact that interest rates are fairly stable, the economy is going to keep growing," he said. You have to take encouragement from what's happening in the labor force and the job market," he added. When you look at African-American unemployment, you've never had African-American unemployment this low, and the spread between African-Americans and whites narrowing. President Donald Trump has done more for the black community in less than a year and a half than Barack Obama accomplished in eight years. In fact, just last week, the Bureau of Labor Statistics released the May 2018 jobs report which showed that the economy added 223,000 jobs last month, reducing the unemployment rate to 3. 8 percent. Broken down by race, the unemployment rate is just 3.5 percent for whites, 5. 9 percent for blacks, 2.1 percent for Asians, and 4.9 percent for Hispanics, which are among the lowest rates on record for each group. This is of particular significance to black Americans, who have traditionally struggled with unemployment and upward mobility. The Democrats, of course, are not happy about these numbers. They're in the business of trading handouts for votes, so with the entire country being put back to work, their sixth scheme is unraveling right before their very eyes, courtesy of Donald J. Trump. Conservatives measure success not by how many people receive government assistance, but by how many people don't. This is one of the key differences between those on the right and their leftist counterparts. Democrats have labeled themselves the party of the people, mainly by giving away free stuff in exchange for votes. Republicans, however, know that none of these handouts are actually free. Someone is paying for them, 
and that someone happens to be the hard-working American citizen who would rather put in a 10-hour day at the factory than live their life on the dole. Moreover, conservatives realize that helping people become independent of the government is real compassion. By contrast, ensuring that entire demographics are beholden to a certain political party for their welfare checks is akin to modern-day slavery. As the days roll by, more and more African Americans are waking up and realizing the truth, namely, that the liberal agenda is a poison which has kept them down for decades.